Uh, I I think the CS is coming to, to join us at this time of uh, grief uh, from the national government and uh, also to look at the status of the issue and the problem at hand as at now. And uh, if there is any mobilization to do with funding and to do with food distribution or clothing and beddings, maybe he can also comment on the same. So that's what we are going to do now. But uh, I'm happy to note that uh, uh, the neighboring hospitals like Moi Teaching and Ripper Hospital have sent a contingent of 40 uh, doctors on the way coming so that we can despite to the three heavily affected sites. When I say sites, let me make it clear for Kenyans to know. I have five sub-counties in West Pokot. Right. Three sub-counties have been affected and hit hard. But inside those three sub-counties, three wards are terribly affected. In Pokot sub-county, Pokot South sub-county, Son Tiny location where you went yesterday, that's where we lost over 17 people buried and I'm told they are still uh, 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 not sure the exact number because some people are lost. But the matter like now, you don't know how many people are inside. Then where I went yesterday is a neighboring sub-county called Como Patei Ward, where we have seven IDP camps, IDP in the sense that these uh, people have been displaced by this problem. All the areas have been wiped out. And you cannot imagine, you see the faces of little ones, hundreds of kids, women and men, and you are just helpless there. And the food is diminishing terribly. But reaching there is a challenge. If the governor cannot reach there, I had to walk for kilometers. In some occasion, you use a border border. Uh, but it is tough, sliding and so on, and uh, it is a rough terrain. And when I explain, the gradient is almost as sharp as this wall. How those Kenyans lived in that area, nobody knows. They even have their title. These, these are people who have been there from time immemorial. But the human capacity to expand is now high. So the national government, together with the government, county government, now we need to sit together. These people who are permanently now in danger, how do we take a responsibility as a nation to remove our people from areas that are prone to such disasters? It has a lot of heavy lightning all the time in that region, so we occasionally have deaths related to the uh, lightning strikes and so on and so on. So yesterday we received uh, an army cho chopper carrying food but it could not reach so we had to receive the food far away from the site then we can look for tractors we already got a, uh, a scavenger that can climb uh, opening the road which had been covered um, but although even if it opens because of the rain it's still very slippery even a tractor cannot but somehow we must do our effort uh, our ability Pokot central where Muino location is where uh, seven children were covered and killed in their house and the parents were not in. They were been cut off from the rain by the rain. That is a not heavily affected area. Over 30,000 people have been displaced because the area is like a valley, a valley in Muino. So all those people have been affected. Uh, that is just one sub county. So the total number of Households that have been affected in the three sub-counties is not less than 10 to 12,000 homesteads, which hits a staggering of over 80 to 120,000 people because you don't know how many kids anybody has. You know, some of these areas, people have three wives, two wives, five, so you can imagine. So and yesterday, uh, let me just cut you short, Mr. Governor. When we spoke, you gave us a, a figure of 46, uh, being the number of persons who have passed on, and 22 being the number of persons who are still missing. Uh, what numbers do you have at the moment, and what sort of response? And do you feel like the, the national government has given you uh, adequate response in this particular uh, rescue mission at the landslide areas? Um. <coughs> When I was in Parua yesterday, the location where I visited, uh, five more bodies were recovered at around four or five in the evening, three children and their mother, and one more young man who I'm told is a border border rider, 
and uh, he was just just also he just died in his house. So some of these people have been removed from there and buried there. So the number is mm, just around 50 to 52 there, as I, as I speak to you. The deaths? The deaths, those ones that are confirmed dead. And uh, we have bodies that are managed to reach here. There are bodies that have not been brought because of accessibility. Imagine the, like in Muino, the whole river just cut itself. If you want to cross the river, you, it, the water reaches you here. So how to carry the people is a big challenge. So what we actually need the, the national government to do this. We need a permanent job here for these two, three days we, when we have this uh, problem. The one that we had yesterday, the police one came and left for Eldoret. The army one came and went to bring more food. So we need one that we can use like uh, a vehicle around for the time being. So this is my prayer and wish. As soon as the minister lands here, we'll tell him we need that job. I can even take the keys. Does it have keys? I don't know. So that we can have it here, uh, be able to... When the sky is open, we just dash, deliver the food. These doctors who are going, I don't know how they will go. We will just make sure that they go and uh, hope that they will be able to reach there. And Prof, uh, uh, the sort of humanitarian crisis that is expected, granted, first of all, that most of the areas are quite inaccessible. It was very problematic for us to get to Nyarkulian. Uh, and so we want to imagine even the aid that is food and non-food items, getting access to these areas is quite huge. Will these... Uh, 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 will this chip in to see, uh, w w will this ha hamper the efforts that you're putting to see to it that no more lives are lost regarding this particular calamity? Yes, indeed. We, if the roads were passable, we didn't have this huge type of challenge. Somehow the problem would have been almost mitigated by now. So, but like you saw yesterday, where you went is almost 12,500 feet above sea level. Very cold. I don't know how you survived. I hope you went well. Uh, that tells you this story. When homes were swept, it means all beddings, blankets, mattresses, everything went. What is what is remaining? Nothing. What do we need? Blankets, mattresses, beddings, and also kitchenware. Because if a house goes, everything that is inside has gone. So I'm appealing to all Kenyans who are listening and uh, hearing us now that uh, we are going to have a helpline here. We soon we are we are going to announce the the numbers. the numbers that are required, and then also the pay bill number. Safaricom sent somebody here. They have just called me this morning. They like to a number in a short while. Then Kenyans who uh, want to support their brethren can also assist. But those of you who are manual and physically able to deliver something, we let you know how you can deliver. <coughs> then we can pick it. And uh, those uh, Apple industrialists who are listening and watching, you have a huge supermarket and you want to donate something. The West Pocot is very accessible. It's just 100 kilometers from uh, Eldoret, 30 kilometers from Kitale. We have a way of uh, go down here that we can be able to, to dispatch. And the areas that have been hit, the nearest one is 60 kilometers from where I am now. So that Kenyan cannot imagine it's going to It is right deep. For you who did not know, Kapeng West Pocot County, is 60 to 70 percent mountainous so that means all the challenge you see has come as a result of those uh, the terrain. Yeah, terrain. Thank you. many thanks indeed that is the area governor professor uh, john lonyangapo just painting for us a picture of the uh, of the just painting for us a picture rather of the disaster that is here following a landslide on Saturday morning. He has indicated new numbers. He notes that they have recorded or confirmed uh, 52 deaths following that particular landslide. 22 people are still missing. We expect that the Minister for Interior, Dr. Fred Mantiangi, will be making his way here anytime from now and perhaps he will be visiting with the persons who have now been internally displaced and they 
are appealing for any humanitarian aid to assist them camp to areas of safety because the rains here in West Pokot are still ongoing. I must note that yesterday night we had very heavy downpour. That goes to say that danger uh, is still uh, signal signaling here in the county of West Pokot. We'll be coming back to you with more details uh, immediately after Dr. Fred Matiangi lands here and we see the sort of response he will be giving to this particular uh, calamity. For now, back to you in Nairobi.